Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create some glass orbs, just like you're seeing here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a new image. We'll just create it 800 by 600. And then what we want to do is um, select a color for the background. So I'm going to choose like a bluish, like a dark blue color. And then create a new layer. And then using the elliptical marquee tool, if you hold Alt and Shift, it will draw a perfect circle for you just like that and then using the paint bucket tool just fill that with the blue next thing we want to do is right click on that layer and select blending options and then select inner glow and change the blending mode to normal and we want to have the size at about 40 pixels and we want to change the color to black as well just like so then I'm just going to hit OK on that. Then what we want to do is create a new layout. And then with that selection still there, we want to go select, modify, and contract. And we want to contract by probably 5 or 10 pixels. So I'm just going to do that again. Select, modify, contract, and I'll say 10 pixels. Now what we want to do is select our gradient tool and select the option linear gradient and then just drag in from just outside the circle to the center um, just like that and then changing the blending mode to color dodge and it'll give you that sort of effect so now what we want to do is create a new layer by clicking here and then using our elliptical marquee tool just click in a space to deselect and then we're just going to draw a circle from the bottom right to the top right just like so then we want to use our gradient tool again with the linear gradient and the foreground white and then just drag from the top here just down like so maybe a bit further so just from the top down to here just like that now what we want to do is change the fill and just adjust that to what you think is right, so maybe 80 or 90%. So I'll just select 85 and then go select, deselect. Now, what you can do is you can go into edit and transform and just select free transform. Now, you can sort of stretch this around till you think it looks good. So I'm just going to probably do it like this. Then if you hold Control Alt and Shift and then pull this in like so, it will drag that just like that, giving that sort of curved look. And then give that a tick. And there's your glass orb. Now, I hope this has been a help to you. And thanks for watching.